Ugh, Tommy, Tommy, Tommy. What do you have in store for us today? Roll it. Welcome back to the channel, everybody. Channel's name is The Third Ernest. I'm Ernest Adiano The Third. Y'all guys are The Third Family. If you're new here and you're not subscribed and you like what you see, consider becoming part of the family, clicking the subscribe button, bottom right hand corner. Now for those of y'all that watched my last Tom McDonald video, y'all know that it was, it was not my cup of tea to say the least. The whole I'm trying to be outcast, I'm trying to be edgy and we need to blame the music that I make, but not my music. We need to blame everybody else's music for the way the pitfalls of, of, Americans, of America's youth that shit does not fly over here on this channel and not to mention that the song was just fucking bad that's it the, the song was bad the hook was bad dax was like completely drowned out by how bad the song was and his his wasn't that bad his verse wasn't that bad but it wasn't strong enough to carry the burden of what blame the rappers was and i gave him the benefit of the doubt that it was my first time listening to tom mcdonald everybody had told me like yo this this was this was not his best song this isn't a good introduction to him go back and do old tracks and then as fate would have it he drops this track yesterday and the song we have today is i don't drink i'm not judging a book by its cover but the title is very clickbaity just like the last one was and the last song was trash so let's hope that the trend doesn't continue because i'm rooting for the guy i might sound like a hater for the comedic effect but i want everybody to win so follow your boy on instagram and on twitter at the third earners just like the channel links down in the description below and we got i don't drink tom mcdonald let's get it it's already a weird start <laughs> let's try it again I screwed up. I just want to say I'm sorry. It's all my fault. All right, let me get my mind right because this I was not ready for this. And you did screw up. You screwed up by putting out that last fucking song. That shit was ass. I screwed up. I just want to say I'm sorry. It's all my fault. You should probably ignore me. Oh my God. I should have given you a warning. All my friends are sick and tired of the story. I don't drink because when I'm drunk, I'm annoying. All right. At least it's at least it's better than I don't drink and you shouldn't either type shit. Because that's what I was expecting just based off of the based off of the condescending nature of the last song. But I can already tell you that based off of what I'm hearing so far, this is like a watered down version of Post Malone. All the way down to what he's wearing, the Gucci and the Louis Vuitton boots and all of that. Go listen to the album Stony by Post Malone. This is basically a, a, a more juvenile version of that already, right out of the gate. We're 20 seconds in. I don't drink, cause when I'm drunk, I'm annoying. Call your phone when it's three in the morning. Start a fight, park the whip in your garden. Probably think I am mentally retarded. Please don't. I didn't say it. But something that I will give credit for, the beat fucking slaps. This is a fire beat. Obviously his singing voice we know is subpar, but with good with good production, you can kind of you can kind of make it happen. You can you can get away with it. But on top of the fire beat, the video actually is is decently produced. I like the fact that his body is moving in slow motion, but his lips are still in line with the song. Generally what they do to make that effect happen is they play back the song at twice the speed. He's moving at normal speed, but his lips are moving twice the speed to lip sync. And then they slow it down in, in Premiere or wherever. And then they flip it to where his body is half speed, but his voice is normal speed. That's a dope little effect, especially with the way the song sounds and the aesthetic of the sound. I am mentally retarded. Please don't call me crazy because I'm not. Last night, I had one too many shots. Blacked out, got arrested by the cops. Woke up on the neighbor's front line. Every time that I'm hungover, I convince myself I'm dying. Where the hell my pants go and why is my girlfriend crying? I say I mean like I want to like it so bad because I like the melody. I like the beat a lot, actually. But I'm having so much trouble getting past the fact that this sounds like if Post Malone and Blink-182 had a baby and that baby couldn't sing as well as either one of them, that's what we're hearing right here. Does that make sense? I'm not trying to be a hater. I'm just letting you know what's going on up here because that's a, that's exactly who I hear in this song. Convince myself I'm dying. Where the hell my pants go and why is my girlfriend crying? I say that I remember what I did, but I am lying. There's a tattoo on my butt cheek, it's a beer can and he's smiling I'm pretty sure that last night went down in history I just, I can't, I can't right now I'm trying, 
I promise I'm trying, but the lyricism or lack thereof is extremely weak. Like the song that I'm picturing and I'm relating it to by Blink-182 is What's My Age Again? And that has stupid playful lyrics as well, but the, but the instrumentation behind the song has a more upbeat type of feel to it. This instrumentation feels dark and it does not match and that's causing a disconnect within my brain. I don't drink when I'm drunk, I'm I mean, like, the melody, the melody is good. I even like the chanting that's being done of, like, everybody is saying this, like, last night was a fucking movie, bro. Like, we all went to jail, but we all went to jail together. We're brothers and all that. That's not even that bad. It's just, I don't know. I don't know what it is about it. It's just not, it's not landing. I'm a mess, and I know you don't deserve it. You're the best, and I'm a pretty stupid person, nonetheless. You try to help me because I'm hurting, I confess. Sometimes I feel like I'm not worth it. I don't drink, because when I'm drunk, I'm a problem. I don't care. See, like right there, that was the effect that I was talking about, where his mouth is moving in regular speed, but he's moving in slow motion. And I will tell you this, again, I really like the melody and I really like the beat, but I can't say that I like the song, especially when I'm critiquing somebody who talks about how rap is just filled with shitty shallow and superficial lyrics and that hip-hop should have more substance and be more than the beat behind it because he has that stance i have to take that stance into consideration and say if you don't like that shit why did you make this song with that fire ass beat and with that fire ass melody but the lyrics are fucking ass just like he don't give a pass to other rappers for having good production for having good for having good melody and for having good auto-tune i'm not giving his ass a pass for the same reasons i don't care who i heard i feel i Awesome, holy crap, it's either jail or a coffin Soon enough, I'ma be at rock bottom Please help, tell me how I am that was a decent see like if the song was if it was a darker realization like that last line that that would that would be fire like he said i don't drink because it's a problem sooner or later i'm gonna end up in jail or a coffin please help tell me how i end up here last night i had one too many beers flashbacks but i can't remember clear why i texted all my exes and we haven't spoken years every time that i'm hung I threw up on my front step and I wasted all my money I got naked in a nightclub right in front of all my buddies Then I went home with some girl I thought was hot but she is ugly I'm pretty sure that last night I went down See like, like lines like that, they, they make the song, they make the song corny for me and I mentioned it in a reply to one of the comments on my Hobson video who like says, what the hell is corny? Like, I don't understand what that means. It's not corny. In this case, it's someone who's trying to have to be humorous, who's trying to be funny on the track, come off as a tryhard really about trying to be funny. Like take Lil Dicky, for example, that's someone who makes humorous music but the music is not corny. He knows what production needs to go behind the concept of the song. He writes extremely thought out and extremely conceptual songs. They land and they stick in the way that they need to. Every song that Lil Dicky writes is classic Lil Dicky. It has it has his signature humor, but it also goes in. This right here is trying to be humorous, I think. And the fact that I don't know if it's trying to be humorous is exactly the disconnect that's happening. Like, is he trying to make light of a problem that he has? Or is he trying to be dark? And then like the, the humor that he's trying is just coming off his it's coming off as a poorly executed concept, you know? I don't drink, and it's when I'm drunk, I'm retarded, ass around, I'm the light for the party, hold my And if y'all gonna get mad at Eminem for saying faggot in, in 2018, you gotta get mad at Tom McDonald for saying retarded in 2020. I don't make the rules, y'all make the rules. Call my phone, can't be quiet, can you hear it? I don't hear it, damn oh no. My sexy photos, can we clear it? We need to clear it. I'm pretty sure that last night went down in history. We made it out alive and that's a victory. Black eyes and minor injuries. We lost the fight to I can't, I was, I just heard it for the first time right now. The entire time he said black guys, I thought he was saying black guys. Like he got into a fight with black guys. I don't know why I kept on thinking that, but. Oh my beer. I 
still don't understand who Tom McDonald is. This song right here literally had like no identity. The only identity that I could give it is like I said before, a mashup of Blink-182 and Post Malone in one track at a way, way, way lower execution level. And I wanted to like it so bad because like I said, the melody that he chose and the beat that he chose, they like went hand in hand, but the lyrics just gave me like this cognitive dissonance from liking the song that I, I just can't, I couldn't get into it. And I can't even say whether it's better or worse than the last song because it's like, they're two completely separate different things. Apples to oranges. Bitch, that phrase don't make no sense. Why can't fruit be compared? But so far, my experience with Tom McDonald in two tracks is one shitty rap song that's pandering to a group of people who don't even like rap music and this thing right here, which I don't even, I don't even know how I feel about it. All I do know is that in two songs, I haven't had that oh shit, this right here is fucking fire. This is hot. That hasn't happened yet. And I treat new artists that I listen to like Netflix series. I give it three or four episodes to see how we're going. But so far in two episodes, you got two more to, you got two more to impress me or we're changing the fucking channel and we're never listening again. But yo, that's it for this video, guys. If you like what you saw, please consider liking and leaving a comment down below. If you have a different opinion of this song than I do, then leave a comment down below with it so that way I could potentially be like, oh shit, now I get it because I didn't see it that way before because right now I don't get it. If you like what you see enough and the analytical breakdown of the lyrics, the music video, everything like that, that's how we do it around this channel. So please consider subscribing. Follow your boy on Instagram and on Twitter and on Discord, all at the third earnest. You want to talk to me? Discord for sure is the best place to do it. But thank you everybody for spending a couple of minutes here with me. I know that y'all can watch y'all's reactions anywhere throughout the world of YouTube. They're out the whole niche of reaction channels that are out there, but y'all guys choose to do it here with me and that shit means the world to me. Like I always say at the end of all of my videos, go out there in the world, love and care for one another, love and care for each other. And I'll catch everybody on the next music video. Peace.